Welcome back to my series, Dance Moms Uncovered. Way back in season one of Dance Moms, the girls auditioned at MSA and were given the opportunity to appear in a music video for a so-called up-and-coming artist named Lux. But who is she? Why have we never heard from her again? And was this whole music video opportunity just a manufactured storyline for the show? Let me help you guys separate the facts from fiction. It might surprise you to hear that some of this storyline wasn't fake at all. But like I always say, there was still more to the music video than the producers cared to show. Feel free to share your thoughts on the following evidence. First, let's take a look at the music producers. Lux's song, It's Like Summer, was produced by We Three Kings Music. This name might sound familiar, because We Three Kings has also produced music for Brooke Highland, songs featured on Dance Mums, and even the season 4 theme song. Their YouTube channel also includes clips from the show, including clips from this episode. In fact, the music video producer, Seven Williams, is one of the founders of We Three Kings Music. His real name is Keith Volpone, but he most often goes by the name Seven Volpone. What are the odds that when the girls auditioned for a talent agency, that they would be offered a job with a company that is already under contract with Lifetime and Collins Avenue? Looking at this information alone, it would be easy to assume that this whole storyline was produced for the show. However, there is some legitimacy to this job that I would like to discuss. So next, let's explore the audition. Before they were offered the music video gig, the girls attended an open call audition at MSA. Upon close inspection of this scene, the evidence suggests that this audition is actually real. Firstly, we can see several MSA directors at this audition, such as JC Gutierrez, Julie McDonald, and even Jen, who reappears in season two, when Maddie, Mackenzie, and Melissa attend a meeting at MSA. Then there are the choreographers, Ben Allen and Carl Hanagami, who are very well known and highly respected in the industry. We can also see that the panel is taking detailed notes during the audition process. You can see here that Jen is making notes about everyone she's watching. It looks like she's taken a few notes about Maddie and Brooke, but she's also taken a lot of notes about the other kids in the group who aren't ALDC dancers. Lastly, these talent scouting auditions were open to the public. MSA had posted about them on Facebook and Twitter before they took place, meaning that anyone could attend these auditions. So if the audition was real and the job was produced, why did we see the MSA people tell the girls that they would be perfect for a music video with Lux? Well, there is a man who might have been able to convince the MSA staff to stage a short scene where the girls supposedly booked the job with Lux. This man is John Corella, one of the main people responsible for creating Dance Moms, an executive producer during season one, and also a dancer closely affiliated with MSA. MSA has tweeted about him several times, calling him MSA's John Corella and congratulating him for the show's success. Based off all this evidence, I would conclude that the MSA auditions were real. However, I don't believe that the MSA had anything to do with getting the Dance Moms girls the roles in Lux's music video. 3. ALDC Involvement One thing that was very striking when I rewatched this episode was just how many people from the ALDC in Pittsburgh had flown over to LA to help out with the music video shoot. While it is no secret that Gianna Martello was on set, she shared on Twitter that she choreographed the dancing for the video. This is particularly odd because there was supposedly already a choreographer on set. It's possible that maybe they both choreographed together, however, I don't think it's industry standard to bring along your own choreographers to contribute to a professional job. Did you also notice that one of Abby's male students, Nick Dobbs, is the boy dancing with Brooke? The other boys in the video don't seem to be from the ALDC though. And interestingly enough, Matt, who dances with Nia, appeared in Sia's music video for The Greatest, alongside Maddie. Furthermore, Dee Dee Kaz, who did a lot of the elaborate makeup for the show, can be seen in the background of some shots, even though there was another makeup artist on set. Finally, I believe that this man here could be ALDC faculty staff member Julian Turner. However, this is the only picture of Julian I have as a reference. 
Now, I don't have any personal experience in the industry, but I would assume that when you agree to do a music video for an artist, you normally aren't expected to bring along extra staff to help out. Number four, who is Lux? The singer we know as Lux is Katrina Danson, aspiring singer and daughter of famous actor Ted Danson. Before she appeared on Dance Moms, she had released a few songs, including Cherry Bomb, Sugar Free and Overload. Also, her content wasn't exactly kid friendly. And in this interview, quite a lot of what she says is kind of dodgy. I've always loved music. It's what I'm most passionate about. So, suck it. Stupid question. Yeah, actually, I've always wanted to be an assassin. Mm. The remixes were so hot that my whole team and I went streaking. Actually, one of us went to jail, so we had to bail somebody out. It was crazy. So what made the Dance Moms producers choose her? Well, in my opinion, her appearance probably has a lot to do with it. It's almost scary how alike Lux and Chloe looked back then. There's no way of knowing for sure if Lux was chosen because she looked like Chloe. However, let me remind you guys that Dance Moms had story producers and story assistants listed in the season one credits. Giving Chloe such a neat comeback after the season she had been through was such an inspiring and joyful end to the season. And sadly, I don't believe it was an accident. Sorry if I'm spoiling the magic for you, but Chloe still did an amazing job in this music video regardless. And she's been in plenty of music videos since where she's done a brilliant job. In case you were wondering what Lux is up to now, she seems to be tweeting about being homeless a lot. Finally, let's look at who Chloe's real competition was. Lots of people online have pointed out that Maddie probably wasn't Chloe's main competition for the lead role, since Maddie doesn't look like Lux at all. People have theorised that Chloe and Paige were probably originally the top contenders for the role, but the producers made it look like it was Maddie and Chloe battling it out because the Maddie vs Chloe storylines were more dramatic. Well, as a lot of people have already noticed, Paige looks a lot more like Lux than Maddie does. Then there's this really choppy statement from Chloe that sounds like the editors might have shoved a clip of her saying Maddie into one of her sentences, possibly because she was actually talking about Paige. Video. I think my biggest competition for the music video is probably going to be Maddie because she's good and she also has the look. In the music video, you can see that Chloe and Lux aren't the only two people who sing into the microphone. Paige is the only other girl who lip syncs into the microphone during this video. Maybe the music video producers got both Chloe and Paige to lip sync before they announced who would get the lead role. Paige also has the most summery outfit, which matches the title, It's Like Summer. And unlike Maddie, she sits next to Chloe while the lead role is being announced. And why wouldn't Paige be seriously considered for the role? She's got the look, the confidence, and she can really work the camera. So what do you guys think? Would you have liked to see the girls in a real professional job? Or do you still think this was perfectly legitimate? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.